always on the cutting edge. Aren't you? What do you mean? You, Leo. <laughs> Looks like you're riding that hairy edge of hipness, even as a married man. I didn't follow you here, if that's why you look so freaked. I'm not freaked. And I know you didn't follow me here. I came here to hand deliver some ad copy for the Christmas issue. Enchantment's big push for the holiday, Yeah, I and got I... it, Granny. What are you doing here? Waiting for Brooke. She wanted to see me. Oh? So, you're working. What, like every day? Mm -hmm. What a concept, huh? It's different. All work and no play? All I do is get up, go to work, stay until I can't keep my eyes open anymore, and then I go home and go to bed. And then I'm up a couple hours later doing the same yeah, thing all over again. Yeah, you're real dedicated, Greenlee. Excuse me? You don't really expect me to buy this career girl on the go thing, do you? I have a real job. Look, and you're not up all night, so don't even try to tell me that you are. Listen to you. You run off the 21st century version of Camille, marrying her in her hospital room with bedpans full of flowers. Hey, and I'm easy. supposed to sit around and get fat and ugly and miserable thinking of the one who Look, got away? You don't know anything about my life with Laura, okay? Not the details, thank God. But I do know this much. You look like hell, and you have ever since you married her. <laughs> Laura is pulling the life out of you, Leo. And the sick thing is, is that you know it, and you're too chicken to stand up for yourself and do what you, you want to do for yourself. <sighs> You so want out of this marriage, you can taste it. But you're not going anywhere, are you? You're right, Greenlee. I don't want out of my marriage. But it's not because I'm a chicken or because I don't want to be the villain. It's because I love my wife. I love her more than I thought I could ever love anyone. As a matter of fact, it's probably the smartest thing I've ever, ever done. But you wouldn't understand that because you think that great sex and great love are the same thing. Well, guess what? They're not. And before you jump all over that, let me tell you this. My sex life with my wife is probably the most intimate, tender, beautiful thing that I've ever experienced with anyone. You know what else? I love getting lost in Laura. Getting lost in her purity, in her innocence, in her authenticity. So all your time with me was wasted time. Is that it? You think by trying to hurt me, you'll chase me away for good? Yeah. I'm sorry. That... Leo! Greenlee! Erica asked that I hand deliver these to you. Please make sure you tell her that I did. Great. Right. Thank you. I'm sorry. How much of that did you hear? Enough. Brooke, listen. Th that I heard happened. the things you said about Laura. I think it's good to say those things out loud. Well, I, it I, makes them more real. I know what I said. I love Laura. And I don't, I don't, I don't think about Greenlee. thinking about I was thinking how lucky Laura is to have you Leo really you there well why don't you uh, have a seat put your feet up talk about it? You don't even want to know. Miss Erica, making you crazy at the office again? <laughs> I should be so lucky. Well, I am. <clears throat> what? What is it? I, don't, don't try to think of an answer. Just be truthful with me. What's going on? I ran into Leo. 
And if I could have, I would have killed him. I bet. You bet what? I know why you wanted to kill him. How could you know that? Because of the way he looks at you. And he's married to Laura. And he's still crazy about you. Right? Look, let's, um... Let's not beat around the bush, okay? You, you and Laura... You know, you were married under extenuating circumstances. And the fact that it's working is, it's a relief to me. I mean, it's, it's more than a relief. Okay. I mean, I, I knew that you were past your old feelings for Greenlee, but when I heard you tell her how much you care for Laura, it just, it gave me more confidence in your future together with her. Brooke, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, I know you're not, Leo. And you know you're not. It's just that... I'm not sure that Laura feels that. Does Laura think that I'm going to leave her? I just think that she's very anxious about her health. I think she wants to be the partner that she knows you want her to be. She's also aware that you had a relationship with a fairly aggressive woman before she was even in the picture. So, so what do I do? Just don't feed into her fears and make her doubt you. I don't think that I do, Brooke. I mean, seeing Green here happened to be a total fluke. If you don't feed into Laura's fears, then her fears will die. And if that happens, you can have a relationship that will go into the future that will be built on trust. So, Laura's happiness depends on me. What if I can't do that, Brooke? Not what if everybody's right? What if I can't make Laura happy? Leo, the only way that you couldn't do it is if you were being untruthful about Greenlee being out of your heart. You should have heard him, Jake. Leo sounded like something out of a how-to-be-a-devoted-husband handbook. And the stuff he said about Laura, I wonder if the press has been notified about her nomination for sainthood. Well... Well, uh... nothing. He said he gets lost in her purity. What? That's like saying you get lost in a vat of warm milk. So, what did he say about you? How do you know he said something about me? Well, I don't think you'd be this screaming mad if he hadn't. He didn't really say anything about me exactly. But in what he was saying about the little woman, he was saying I was exactly the opposite. Do you hate this? Which part? Me ranting to you about Leo, again. You're processing. It's okay. How about I process you? Mm -hmm. I love being with you. I just get so excited knowing how much you want me. <laughs> yeah, well... Uh... What? You started kissing me first. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but... I actually spent so much time talking about Leo, now I have to get back to work. So. No way. Way. I'm sorry. Listen, don't be sorry. It's okay. You know. No, I mean, we just keep getting interrupted. First my father shows up at the crack of dawn, and then I have a Leo run in. I know. Are you feeling neglected? Nope, I'm not. See you later. Jake never forgets anything. Unless he's not really going to 